Place. He is so worthy, he worthy. to be praised. Oh, yes, we thank he is. God for this opportunity to be before him one more, one time. more time. Sister Lynch, can you come up now Hallelujah. and give us a few Hallelujah. selections as we go before the throne of God, thank worshiping you. him and welcoming, welcoming him into this place. Sister well, Lynch. Well, bless him. Amen. Good morning. Thank you, God. Welcome. To each one of you for another yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Another opportunity to come in and serve him. Mm -hmm. What a blessing. That's right. What a blessing, blessing to be here in the service of the Lord. Yeah. We are grateful for another chance mm -hmm. to worship him. We've come to praise, praise his holy name. Praise, praise him. Uh -huh. We've come to praise him. Mm -hmm. We've come to praise, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Lift him. Mm -hmm. We've come to lift him. We've come to lift his holy name. Thank him. We've come to thank him. We've come to thank his holy name. What a blessing. What a blessing. To be here in the service of the Lord. We are grateful for another chance uh -huh. to worship Shove him. him. We've come to praise Pray. his oh. holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's what we come in the house for. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your holy name. Worship your name. Worship your name. We worship your holy name. We adore you. Thank you, God. Bow down before you. We worship your holy name. We adore you. Bow down before you. We worship your holy name. Worship your name, worship your name, we worship your holy name, 
Worship your name. Worship your name. We worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all our worship. Well. Be glorified. <laughs> Be glorified. Be glorified in the heaven. Be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in this temple. Wow. Jesus, Jesus, be thou glorified. Thank you, Father. Be glorified. Thank you, God. Be glorified. Be glorified in the heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in this temple. Thank you, God. Jesus, Jesus, mm -hmm. be thou glorified. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. There's yes. a sweet. Yes. Sweet, Sweet spirit Hallelujah. in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, Sweet Heavenly Dove. Filling us with, with your, your love. And for these blessings, we lift our heart and praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. You God. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to wanna thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. You've been, been my God. So, so good. Mm -hmm. You've you been, been so good. good. You've been. So, so good. good. I just want to I thank, want to thank you, thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. Father. We bless your name Praise in this house. Lord. Glory to God. Lord. Amen. We bless Praise. this name. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Thank you, God. We bless your name in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship Hallelujah. God in oh, this bless place. bless your holy name. And we say thank you, thank Lord. Thank you. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship, worship you your holy name. in this place. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sister Lynn. Thank you, God. For carrying Hallelujah. us into that sweet, yeah, sweet yeah, 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 presence yeah. of the Lord. Thank you, God. I say good morning to each Hallelujah. one of you. Those that are present in the building, Thank those that God. are present online from all over, and those that are on free conference, I say good morning to good you morning. and welcome. Hallelujah. I say welcome to the Montavos. Yeah.
God bless you. Thank we you. We love you. Happy anniversary to you. We well, thank God for more. you, for thank being you. present in the place. Hallelujah. Thank Good you, morning. Jesus. We send our prayers, our blessings uh, to Minister Barry and Brother Hallelujah. Barry. Amen. To Evangelist Cook, we bless you. We pray Jesus. God's healing powers over you. Oh, we pray pray strength and blessings over you, over mothers, over the mothers of our church. Hallelujah. Mother Walker, good morning to you. God Hallelujah. bless you. Amen. Uh, Mother Naomi, Hallelujah. Evangelist Todd, we oh continue to lift, lift them up, up as they are right uh, going forth and getting restoration Thank you, uh, after this, uh, the, the hurricane. We bless you in yeah. the name of of Jesus for our young mothers and their children. Thank you. We Lord. know this is a hard time, Fine even time. for some of them, as they are going through mm. uh, different situations. So we Thank bless you, you. Be strong in the in Lord. In Jesus' name. And in the power of His, of his might. We thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. that we can put on your full armor well. and we can have victory over the enemy. I thank God thank for you, each Father. one of you. To Sister Isaacs all the way in the Hallelujah. Bahamas. God bless you mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. We pray God's continued God's blessing speak. on God's Dr. Speak. Michelle. Yeah. Thank God for you, how you housed us during these past yes. few weeks while we were waiting for electricity and water. Thank God for people, the people of God, yes. the members of his body, coming together. Mm -hmm. And that is another way where we can carry out, as uh, uh, Tip reminded me, we can remember well. each other as we come together in love. That's what the Holy Communion is mm. about, that we come together in that communion, that common union, where we That's remember, it. we remember each other, and we remember the body oh. of Christ because of our love. That's, That's right. what Jesus said. Because of our love. Thank I thank you. God for each one of you. I bless you Jesus in name. the name of Jesus. Mm. Uh, we, uh, we don't have uh, the other ones that are usually on the line, like That's Mother right. Naomi and even Minister Barry and Evangelist Todd. But we thank God for them. So we're going to just go ahead. It's Pastor all right. Mike, are you ready? You know what that is. Amen. He always Hallelujah. ready. He loves having yeah. this extra time uh, where he can really expound and, and, and give us the word and thank give you. us a, a, a rich banquet. Come on, Pastor. Feasting. Don't try to make me long. Feast. You, you're making me long. The name now. of the Lord. Huh? So we'll get ready to hear the word. Huh? And whatever else Pastor Mike yeah, has today. for us in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody Pastor give him Mike. glory. I said give him praise. Yeah. Amen. I feel like there's 5,000 folk in this place today. Isn't that all right? Somebody say, I will not be held down. Yeah, this word going to come forth. Amen. God's been talking and still talking. Somebody glad about that. Man, God talks to me. I know some folks say, that, God, don't go, you, I feel sorry for you. God talks, huh? And my ear, thank God, my ear is halfway open most of the time. Amen. We don't get it right all the time, do we? Oh, but when we do, somebody say, I'm slow, but I'm sure. Come on, some. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Blessed be the day of our Lord and Savior. Amen. I feel just all kind of ways. It's a good thing. Amen. I'm, uh, nothing's deterring me, in other words. Amen. Now, y'all are blessing. Amen. You look blessed, acting blessed. Somebody say hallelujah if you're blessed. Uh -huh. I feel like there may be a testimony in the building. Amen. I want to just stop. I don't want to run over nobody. But if there's a testimony in the building, you better pop up like popcorn. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm alive. I'm alive. We, we got through the storm. And Lord, if, as I look around, as, as I look around, and I start thinking things over, my goodness, God been good to me. Look around at the devastation that some people endure. And not only that, I believe a lot of it, Pastor, is warning. Amen. Where that tree could have crushed your house. I, I'm in the house today. Amen. God laid it right down beside it. Amen. And I know there are some, amen, that had to endure enduring the hardship of, of, of loss of homes and 
and rooms and and maybe even people. But we want to thank God, amen, even in that, that there were some people who were spared, amen. And for those who seemingly weren't, we pray graces upon their lives, amen. We pray graces upon the folk that got to clean up. I've never seen so much having to be cleaned up. Amen. I mean, my goodness, our city workers probably going to be hiring this week, Lord. <laughs> it's all right. Somebody need a job. Go on down here. You, you get one. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord. I just want a blessing today. I want to lift my voice. I want to let everybody know that I'm not ashamed of it, huh? Because he's a good God. Huh? He been blessing me all week long. Not materially only, but God been blessing my soul. If he been blessing your soul, one more time before I get into the word. Say, thank you, God. Oh, God, thank you. You are not somewhere far off, nibblers. But God, you're right here in my heart. You're right here and I feel you. It's a whole different message. I see a message I got called, if you ain't feeling it, you might be missing it. <laughs> You just might be missing something if you can't feel, listen, the power of God, Amen. huh? the move of God. Amen. Online, we've already said, I still yet, my heart goes out because there's so many little, that little sickness trying, in the blood of Jesus, blood of I come Jesus. against it. Amen. Amen. Uh, God showing us wisdom ways. Amen. Amen. How to uh, preserve ourselves through these things. And he's bringing us through. And my prayer is that we catch on so we don't miss a beat. Amen. Amen. That there's some ways that's coming up. I think I said it on uh, a few Sundays ago or meant to say it or something. And I've been talking all for the last few years about preservation, about how we're going to need to uh, uh, be wise, need to know how to do something. Amen. So I, so I, our hand held out. Amen. We're going to know, we need to know how to uh, uh, walk in some kind of uh, discipline. You know, we, when you're throwing that stuff away uh, and don't need to be, you'll think about it. Come on, somebody. Y'all, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, we, we're not talking about Horton. We're not talking about being cheesy and all that kind of But just being wise. Is that all right? Because our children, amen, are not going to know how to do that. We're in, a, we're in a predicament right now, to be honest with you. If things were cut off any more longer, mm, 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 somebody say praise the Lord. I don't even like to think about it. Now, it's one more week of no power and no water. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank God for how he preserved us. There, there's some folk in, in dire streets when that TV go off. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you, you start shaking and whatnot and, and wondering what to do with yourself. Am I right about it? Think about no TV, no water. Amen. Possibly if you got a look, if you got a creek, you gotta go down to the y'all don't know nothing about it. Huh? Thank God I got one. I'll go and go in there and find me some clear water somewhere. Huh? If an animal can live in it, I sure can. Is that all right? <laughs> I'm just saying. I pray that I don't pray that on anybody that we have to go through, but you know, this world don't promise us. I said the world don't. And there's some things that could happen. I don't dismiss everything. And I said, Lord, whatever comes this world, I want to be able to stand. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. See, 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 we got a, a generation of folk that can't stand, and I hate to say that. But I'm going to go back, and we're going to teach them. I don't care how old I get. Boy, you're going to listen to me. Hello? Girl, you, been, you don't know? You're all going to listen to it. And, and we got away from that, trying to, trying to save folk. Trying to be politically correct with our children and with uh, the young ones and not telling them, look here, regardless of what happened, you got to work, baby. Come on, somebody. Uh-uh, ain't no, we used to call it skating. You ain't skating around here. You know, no, you got to earn your keep. The Bible says that if a man don't work, come on, y'all know the word, he don't deserve to eat. Am I right about it? So we, we kind of gotten away from that being a basics. Uh, you get up, no, you don't have to make it your whole life, and we shouldn't, because God's got a great plan for our lives, aside and a part of work. Amen. Amen. Apostle Paul worked while he preached. Am I right? He, he, he made attempts while he preached. Amen. Amen. So that, that work ethic still has to go regardless of what you call work. Amen. I'm going to talk about it. it there's a, a, a sermon 
that I had. And I, I, I did this not again today, not long ago. God said, don't worry about that. They ain't get it. I'm just saying. You didn't even get it. <laughs> he talks to me like that. There's parts of this that you didn't even get. He's talking to me. And he said, you, I'm sending you back through this. And I say, I, I, he's talking to me. And y'all know how, <laughs> some of y'all, when God talking to you, you kind of precautious. I am. Because I, what? I want to know that God. <laughs> you know, I want to know God. Are you talking to me? So, so he said, you got to go back over this. And I said, okay. And I went through the, the lesson, the, the sermon, going, you know, how, well, preacher, go, we go, and go word from where. Oh, okay, okay, God, I'm going to beef this one up, and oh, I got to hit it right here. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we went back, I went back through that with the Lord. And no soon as I sat down, I mean on paragraph page one, he said, this is where you missed it. Ah, that's being transparent for a preacher. But they see that all of them need to admit it. So them dry sermon, they say and say, somebody can quote your sermon verbatim. Come on. It ain't no power in there. <laughs> I'm just saying. So we need to brush up. And this is just not for getting a sermon uh, together. This is for every saint of God. There are times God will show you things. And prove it through you. It'll be strong and mighty and powerful. And it'll be uh, anointed coming out of your mouth. But how many know that you can go back over that same information? Yeah. God will give you something new. Yeah. Huh? That, that's called staying in the face of God. Yeah. In case somebody was one. Ain't no, I'm, I'm not talking to y'all. I know y'all got this. So you go tell your friends. That means staying in the face of God. Is that when you can get a revelation upon a revelation upon a revelation. From the same word. The same is that all right? Yeah. So here we have it today. And this is my heart. Two areas that I found out for me <laughs> that I can really, I really feel a burden to talk about. I, I feel a burden to talk about the old school way. Uh, and my topic is old school, you know it, new lesson. Old school, new lesson. That's the one area. And then the other area, which I will not talk about today, but the other area, in case you're wondering, is the glory of God. Now, those are two series that God has given me that I really resonate with. And I believe that you've got to stay where God puts you. Some people, and, and I, there's an array of things, or there's more things, rather, that he had me really harp on. But those two areas, the glory of God, how that's supposed to look for man, okay, we talked about that. And then this old school. Because I came up as a young, youngest child in a home. And I was between Sister Lynch, some old and some new. I, I, found, I thought about this later. I said, yeah, what's wrong with you? I, <laughs> I was between older siblings and people. And then I saw younger people coming up behind me. And, and as I say, everybody like that, not, not really, not, not, not what I'm talking about. I had to decide, especially when it came to church. See, I, I told you everybody not like that. Some folk go through their life, they ain't, they ain't scared about no church. But I had to decide, Sister Betty, what the old folk were saying. Was it really true? Uh, I had to decide how should I act? according to what they were telling me. And then I came up right around the 80s and a new thing come out, if y'all remember. The church turned. And, 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 and we began to look at some new things, in church, uh, some new ways and how we should carry out certain services. That stuff began to change. And, of course, that caused a divide. It did. So my heart is, and you'll hear it again, but my heart is we have to bridge the divide. Think about your children. Think about, I, I can, I can think about how I raised, helped raise uh, a half of the children. I say half, like I got a slew. <laughs> but a few of them came up and the age differences, there was great age differences. And I remember after the second two came up, God talking to me and saying, you cannot do what you did with the first three. 
Y'all talk, he talking to you? I said, God, they children. <laughs> In children the same? He said, yeah, children are the same. But the lessons that they need to learn, y'all, Lord have mercy, is different. And that was hard pill for me to swallow because I was chief. You better hear me good. Pastor, you heard me. And chief said, ah, this is the way we go. <laughs> and I had to uh, start at least trying <laughs> to amend some ways, some ideas and thoughts about how I thought it should be for children. One size don't fit all. That's what happened in the schools. That's what happened with this no child left behind. I'm sorry. That's what happened. People were trying before that to make everything fit one child. If it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Uh, sometimes that child may need something just a little different. Now, now, now the problem is whether we got time. <laughs> The school system started to, to, to evolve in a way that we didn't have time no more. Hmm? Oh, I remember when, and, and early on, them teachers used to call you out. And they knew you. Huh? Somebody say they didn't need nothing but a stick. They didn't need no pill. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah, well, when, when Miss Lucy got off of you, you ain't come back up in there acting up. I know, I got, I, look here. I got one paddling in my school time. And that, God bless his soul, and rest in heaven, D. Witt Mills hit me one time. <laughs> that man hit me one time, and that was all. <laughs> that was all I needed. I, I didn't have even a half a hip anyway. But, but I'm just saying, there, there are some things that we have let go. I'm not advocating abuse or any of that. But you better look real close. Come on, anybody alive in here, if you would just compare how it was with certain situations to how it is now, you can't go away here and, and have your head in the sand no more. Mm -hmm. What was good, what grandma did, huh, to make it over. Somebody better take some notes. Uh, you might not want to get on your knees. I'm getting ahead of the script, but it's all right. But you got to get on your knees, baby. Somehow, I don't, if you can't physically do it, you better do it in the spirit. Amen. Online, y'all hear me? I'm going and gathering wisdom ways. Wisdom principles and practicalities that, that, that help me through life. When mama said, that's foolishness. I, I couldn't afford to look at mama and say, well, you this and you that. Uh, can I get somebody to address the situation at hand? You acting a fool. <laughs> and whether what, whatever you think about mama, you still acting a fool. So, so, so we try to get off the hook by throwing, uh, throwing something at somebody else. When in, when, it, when in fact, that, when you do that, it tells on you. Instead of being responsible, instead of answering the call to holiness, you like to throw off on other folk. You know, I, I saw deacon so-and-so down. What, what, what you doing down there? How, how you saw deacon at the ABC if you wasn't there? Come on, somebody. Y'all get my point. And individual responsibility and relationship with God. And we don't want to hear that. All we want to hear is God is good, huh? and, 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 and he will come through on time. R really? Mm. He does. But there's some things to where God, can I say this like this? Instead of needing a miracle, you can walk in a way that you always supply. I don't know about you, but when I read in the word, when miracles happen, those were, de those were horrible situations, stressful situations. And God didn't say for us that we should always pray for a miracle. He said, seek first, Lord, have mercy, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things 
Instead of having uh, to depend on somebody not uh, sending you that done. Hmm. Instead of depending on the fact that stuff going to get it raised. How about not going and getting in debt? Y'all don't want to hear me. So these are ways that we have to acquire by acceptance. We just have to say, Lord, I'm wrong. Come on, somebody. I, I messed that up. I, I didn't, you ain't told me to go down there and get in the open. <laughs> Can you be honest? Today? God will heal somebody. if You You ain't told me to drink all that liquor. Huh? I thought I was big and bad enough. It felt good. I had good time. So I was a drinking. You know that all right? See, we do things on our own. And then when we get in trouble, we put God in it. Hmm? There's a time coming, and it is on us, that we're going to have to be wise enough to live, listen, in holiness. This, this is not some little good phrase we're throwing out. I'm talking about when I see my sister, look, that's my sister. Amen. And you just perverted if you want, okay, we won't go no further. That's my sister in the Lord. I respect him. I respect her. I won't even think, you need to cut that off immediately. And God gave us the power to do that. See, we don't want to pull on God. We don't want to walk in this power. We don't want to test God and say, what would happen if I don't look at that channel? No, flesh sin, look at it and repent. Look at it and you will be all right. But what about the fact that, that God is saying, don't even go there? Don't go there. Old school. I know it. It's old school. See, D.D. knew you young folk. Uh, uh, and I say young because most of them are young. But there's some, old, <laughs> there's some older folk who have the same mentality. It's because Jesus is so loving. Isn't he loving? But he loves us enough to have empowered us to say no. That's how much he loved us. He loved us enough to say when the devil comes up on you, all I want him to see is the blood. When he encounters you, he should sense enough of my spirit to the point, the Bible says, he'll go and look for an, 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 another time, a more opportune time. Can he say that concerning you? Old school. We're going to walk it. So God told me in, in, in considering this he said you're taking too big of a chunk of the word. Because if I try to go through this, I won't even remember half of it. He said but there's some things that I want people to see right in the beginning. So this is really three series. Three, three, three sermons I'm going to do. From, from now, today, next Sunday, and the next Sunday, God, God will. But when you hear me speak, I will be speaking from old school, new, new lesson for the next three times. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 5, we want to go there and we're going to stay right there today. My goodness, uh, yeah, just about right there. Is that all right? <laughs> yes, because God is good. I feel him moving. I feel him moving in my soul. And I want to go, but he said this. When considering, when considering uh, these end times and considering the fact that I've been here for 60 odd years, uh, what, what, he, he said in Genesis, he satisfied the question right there in Genesis. Because he always takes me back to the beginning. Oftentimes he takes me back. He said in Genesis 8 and 22, he said, while the earth remains, y'all on the earth? Yeah, we ain't got no aliens up in here. Y'all, I say y'all, it's the, the everybody cognizant that the, the, we on the earth, okay. Uh, while the earth remains seed time and harvest, coal and heat, winter and summer, day and night, what? Shall not cease. That kind of puts a period to a lot of people's speculations. While the earth remains, these things will be here. Hallelujah. They are not going to change. They are not going to stop existing. And that's what I want to tell some people. Just because you got older don't mean God's values changed. What God said right there in Genesis still is appropriate right now. What he said in his law is still applicable today. I, I heard somebody say law. Yeah, law. 
See, th that's another thought. I'm, I'm going old school. Some folk think because we're in uh, Jesus satisfied the law, that, that gets them off the hook, so to speak. And you know, people that think like that go to acting crazy. Tempting God. And playing with God. Telling God how faithful he is. God know how faithful he is. Well, your mistake is you don't know your God is down and the devil is sitting there waiting for you to say foolishness. Amen. He wants to uh, come in on you at the point where you are saying this and that doesn't matter. We're New Testament. I know that. And we're supposed to be New Testament holy. Somebody say holy. Holy. I didn't cuss. I said holy. New Testament, holy, because Jesus said he didn't come. Let me read it. Matthew 5. Matthew 5, 17. Look at what he said. Think not. Think not. That I have come to destroy the law. Or the prophets. My goodness, somebody needs to read that. I'm not come to destroy but what? To fulfill. Mm. Somebody contemplate on that right now. That'll give you a new mind right there. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness exceed, shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case, somebody say no case, enter into the kingdom of heaven. I said no case. You're not, in other words, really not talking right there about heaven place. It's talking about heaven mindset. It's talking about you won't enter into the heavenly places of God, uh, the heavenly thoughts of God, the heavenly attitudes of God, e except you go further than scribes and Pharisees. Some folk can't get past your rituals. And that's a bad thing because you know us. We like tradition. That's what was wrong with the scribes, scribes and Pharisees. These were upstanding people in their society, mind you. These are the people who in, uh, interpret the law, wrote the thing, and wrote the Bible, studied the Bible, told the folk how to, what the Bible meant. But they had a problem. These same scribes and Pharisees thought what they do was a result of their righteousness. In other words, if I do good, I'm righteous. If I do bad, I'm unrighteous. Am I right about it? That was the Major mistake with the scribes and Pharisees. Y'all knowing them? These uh, lawful people. Uh, There's another, these people who set up and hold you to the law. And at the same time, come on, married and got a, a phone book full of women. Huh? Biggest drunk in the church. But you on the deacon bowl. I, I don't mean no harm. Huh? This is the things we got to pay attention to. Lawful people. They know how to do the game. Oh, they know how to come in in their long robes. You know, Deacon so and so always strutting up, putting his money in. Make sure everybody know. <laughs> you know, uh, Deacon so and so, you know, always just saying. But they forget about the heart of God. They forget that even in all of their actions, their main action is to be righteous because Jesus has made them right. Instead, they go on to think that what they do, how I don't, and, and, and what all I do for the poor, 
That's what, no, baby, we got that wrong. You shall no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. What did Jesus say when he came into the world on many occasions to the people? When he came in, 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 in and, and came into existence in this earth and to ministry. He said, behold, the kingdom, what, of heaven is at hand. What do you mean? The kingdom mindset is at hand. The kingdom way is right here. I come to show you the way it's supposed to be all the way from heaven to earth. Jesus said, look at me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you. Things are going to manifest through me. And listen, people of God, this is how it's supposed to be. Don't try to write no other book. Amen. Your little poem sound good, but it's not scriptural. You sing well, but your songs are not sung from Zion. They sung from your zealous self-efforts. I know it. It's hard, but see, but see, I'm trying to just get some power in here. It don't have to be a church full of folk for you to be able to feel the presence of God. It shouldn't have to be a whole crowd just for you to feel the presence of God. I decree and declare that right now the holy visitation of God is visiting your soul in here right now. Guess what? Those of you who have held up somebody, know somebody that's sick, know somebody that's having a hard way by you speaking the word. Come on, somebody. Send the word that you will be healed, that you are whole. Tell the devil to get off of their lives. That, that's the kind of thing. That's the kingdom way. We will go to the doctors. Amen. Amen. We will take care of ourselves. We, we know that doctors are of God. But they're not God. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's a wisdom way. That's heaven's way. When Jesus says speak to that mountain. Huh? The mountain of sickness, the mountain of poverty, the mountain of lack of education, the mountain of un misunderstanding. Speak to your mountain. Bad marriages, bad relationship with you. That's a mountain. Speak to it. Say, my children are in heritage of the Lord. Huh? I didn't bear any children for destruction. That's the, that's the heaven way. Hmm? Everything that I put my hands to. Can you say it today? Everything that I put my hands to, it will prosper. Because I follow God. Some people are scared to see it because they don't follow God. They follow themselves. And when things fail, then God comes into play. Hallelujah. But even if it looked good, sisters and brothers, even if it, things are look like they're going real good, you better acknowledge God. You say, God, I, this thing, ro this train rolling right, but I know you the grease in the wheels. Come on. I know it's rolling right only because you have breathed. The scripture said that we move, we live, and we have our being only because it's God. Old school. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk more about it. But I wanted to get out today that God didn't come to get rid of nothing. Except sin. That, that's what he targeted. And the law, the Bible says, the law, Moses' law, kept people in sin. Because we couldn't do it. Did you know that? Some people think they so, they so good. They got all that going on. Huh? I'm telling you, you don't want to hang around them kind of people. Because as soon as you get them out of the, the, the atmosphere of, of, of them showing off, uh, can I just put it in no other way? You know, they got to look good to the friends. When you get them kind of folk out of that, out of that atmosphere, they'll bite your head off. That's not them. It's a facade. It's a put on. It's their show. It's their act. And some people have that, and that's the way they survive. They, they survive acting, showing you who they want you to see. Oh, but when it comes down to, look, God in me time. Mother, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, they ain't got no me time. <laughs> 
God wants to show you that you're supposed to be real. Somebody say real. Yeah, yeah. Whether he can see you, what they call it, character or not. Is it real? See, it's real when you don't have to have folk. It's nice to have a church full of folk. Am I right? But you can have a church full of folk binding you. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. It could be full up in here. And I could be about want to run back into the, uh, into the office. But when I feel the power of God's people, it's old school. When I feel the anointing, hey, running through empty pews. Come on. When I feel the anointing leaping up out of this building and going to see about somebody. Y'all believe that? Yeah, that's what makes me happy. Because I serve a God that's big like that. Oh, yes, he is. That's old school. I don't need to learn what's new on the Internet. If God wants me to know what's on the Internet and he needs not, it's going to help my walk, he'll show me. Y'all have that confidence? He'll, he'll put that in your path some kind of way. And that's my prayer. See, if you don't desire it, though, it won't come. See, see you got to desire for God's way to become dominant in your life. Yeah, regardless of where you're at, what you're doing, you just believe that, God, you're going to show me your way. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm not the most scholarly, but, God, whatever you need for me to know, I want somebody to hear that. God's going to let me know it some kind of way huh, that I can take it. I can digest, digest it. Oh, he's done it time and time. Y'all know y'all ain't that smart. <laughs> <laughs> hadn't God shown you and done some things for you and you had to, you know what I'm saying, you had to, come on now. Come on. I, I, I'll just say, I have been in that situation. No, I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> didn't know what to say. But God, God came in on time. I remember, and I'm going to share this, show you how God will do that. I was interviewing for a job and I'm sitting there, the, the, the thing I was interviewing for had no prior experience except for military but the particular job I had no real you know it's like okay I'm gonna sit here and while the person was interviewing me I sat there and I honestly will tell you depending on Jesus I wasn't thanking Jesus hallelujah nothing I was just sitting there like I was somebody is that all right you can't go up on no interview a man with your hair rollers Am I right? Oh, I'm sorry. But, but you got to look. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you got to look like you're somebody. So I sat there. And all the time, honestly, I'm praying, Lord, I need to say the right thing. I, I need to know what this person asking me. And they went on and went on. And I remember him asking me about a certain thing. And when I answered him, I knew it had to be God. Because I didn't go in there with that thought at all. In fact, that hadn't even crossed my mind, really, until I needed it. Hey, glory. Somebody give him some glory. I say he'll put in your mouth what you need when you need it. So I told him, I'm only bragging in God, you know. And after the interview, I couldn't say nothing because I didn't know. But when he perked up, you know, when, when, when your boss perk up, you, you got him then. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, but at the, at the uh, answer, I seen his countenance change. Like he said, that's it. That's what we need. Oh, I had him then. Oh, yeah, I, I, knew, I knew God was doing something then. And, and sure enough, that got me that job. Out of all the other questions, that one thing that he asked me and that one thing, I'm helping somebody that I answered. Impacted him so. He, he was like, I don't want to hear nothing now. I wasn't saying nothing no way. But it, <laughs> but, but it was like, it's over. Interview over. That's all I need to hear. They started me out on the job with a bachelor's degree. I ain't said in one class. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about bachelor's degree money. <laughs> That's, you know, rubber meets the road. That all that matter, you know. So, so, and I sat there in that particular place. And, Lord, this ain't nobody but you. You know, I, 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 what? I, I can't even spell it. So God's favor did that. Amen. And from that one experience, there's many more, I learned that when my older folk, that I would hear here and there, say, he'll, he'll take you further than you know you can go. Amen. Huh? God, God will be with you. All the little simple things they would say to you. Baby, put your hand in God's hand. 
huh? Now, all that stuff came back to my spirit. Say, Lord, thank you that I could put my hands in your hand because I sure needed you. Come on, somebody. I sure needed you to take my hand. Precious Lord. Huh? Huh? I needed him to do that. So when that happened to me, of course, I got up like I had done something. You know, yeah, you know. But, but in myself, you <laughs> Lord. <laughs> but I thank God for that. That's old school stuff. Because people not even telling these kids how, how, how to go on an interview. They won't listen to you, how to dress, and how to uh, in, in a place, be in a place where you look like something so they don't throw anything on you. Am I right? Some folk got less salary because they went up in there with hair roll. And the, and the person said they don't need no more than minimum wage. <laughs> huh? Went up there with all that slain. You don't have, we don't have to talk like that. We don't have to talk like anything else either. But you, you understand what I'm saying. I told the boy he came on the base sagging. I'm done. Y'all know I'm done. That's my military story. He came on the base sagging, Sister Lynn. You know what sagging is. Y'all know it's pants all down. In a uniform down. And 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 the ma yes, the, the the master chief uh, of the command was setting up. He had a, a fortunate enough to his office could see everything in the parking lot. He done checked them out. Checked them out from up there. He sagged. And I'm like, Lord, have mercy. What's going to happen here? <laughs> because you don't do that. What am I saying this for? There's certain protocol. Y'all like them words like that. Well, get with it. There's certain ways you just got to be. I'm sorry. If you say you're, you're sunstress, don't go in there with no crackly voice. You better eat you some lemons or something. You know what I'm saying? Get that voice right before you go in there. But this boy checked in the command. And, and, and his pants were sagging. His shirt, it was just a mess. And I'm like, oh, needless to say, he didn't last long. <laughs> he didn't last long. Because they met him, and it was not with a smile. It's like, where do you think you're going? And that was over 20 years ago. I hate to think what they're coming in there like now. By the way, plug for the military. It's not what we think as far as negative. The military still got some strong people. Sister Betty, am I right about it? Our sisters and brothers, uh, some of them, but the, the media wants to put out that it's going this and that. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I mean, as a whole. So uh, a plug in for that. I'm out 24 years now. Lord have mercy. But I still believe in the principles. Old school. Y'all done? I ain't done with you. But I will quit. <laughs> Hallelujah. We bless you today. I want this to marinate. Online marinate because there's some old ways. Uh oh, I got to check. I got to check in my spirit that you didn't do something. There's some old ways we need to pay attention to. I mentioned bringing the divide together, didn't I? Didn't I? There's some old and essential things of great value. Like me. I'm old. I'm essential. And I got great value. Y'all looking down. Come on. Y'all better say, you know you ain't. Come on. I said there's something that don't get better till it's old. Like fine wine. Come on. That old stuff. That's the good stuff. Am I right about it? Uh-huh. Y'all can sit back. I, I'm not taking that because the older I get, the more wiser I get. The older I get, I am better in the name of Jesus. And I stand today in that place of old and new. And I pray we can get with this to come together and say, yeah, you're a little older, but I can use you. If we didn't have praying grandmothers, come on. <laughs> if nobody was standing for us, and if we didn't have our young people, my grandson, I got to close with this. That boy have us where we at right now. I said grandson. Now his daddy coaches him, of course. Of course, his granddaddy. But do you know that boy working that thing? Eight years old. Y'all ain't listening to me. I say he's working this stuff. We're able to remotely have a program all the way 
because he encoded the program. Somebody say glory. Sure. I need some of that. Huh? Be, be anxious for some of that little brain. Uh, Christopher don't know. I'm going to have my mom. <laughs> but, but he did that. Christopher. He encoded the program to we can remotely. They sitting there in Philadelphia right now enjoying the service just like you. We couldn't do that before. His daddy has shown him enough about them computers. Now he's able to take off. We need some young power. I didn't say black power. I say we need some young power. Yo, 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 grandchildren, you, you know, we ain't going to be 30 forever. I want some of that reward. Hallelujah. Thank God for his mother and father that nourished him into that. Let him express himself in that code. And some people, get off that computer. Well, you wouldn't have to say that if you knew what he was doing on the computer. Am I right? So then, I stand today. Saying old school. My God, I love it. Something leaps in me when I say old school. For some reason, I just love it. I think back to this time of year, back in the 70s. Woo! Lord, have mercy. See, y'all y'all can't get there. But boy, I thought I was... <laughs> 70s. Had, began to get a little teeny weeny afro. I thought... <laughs> thought I... Uh, straightening comb was in my back pocket. Y'all ain't even in here. Y'all ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Y'all, some of y'all don't like, you don't know what I'm talking about. You ain't from the country, and, and you, y'all didn't go there. But it's all right. I was told. And it encourages me to see, especially when I can say my grandson, doing stuff I can't even think about. I, I, be honest. Just be honest. You can't go there. You ain't supposed to go there. He's supposed to do what God and, and your grandson, that boy going to be... Standing on top of the church, I guarantee you, he gonna tell somebody something. Your grands, yours. That's why we got to say it. That's why we got to believe it. That's what got to speak into their lives. Don't say nothing to them positive, and wonder what he doing. He doing whatever he know to do because you didn't tell him. You didn't bless him. You didn't take the time to really stand for him or her or whomever. So that's what we're about on this journey today. Starting on this journey. There's two more sections that I want to deal with. Two more. We ain't talked about old school yet. But that's the next one. Then the new lesson. Y'all do realize we in school. This this is school. Y'all know about the school of fish. They're together. And, and, And check that out. Normally they are the same species. Is that right? God trying to tell us something. Us need to stick together. <laughs> and and, and, and the us, for us, is not necessarily race. It's who's the Christian and who's not. Us, say it online, us need to stick together. Because I feed off Sister Betty. Huh? Come on, somebody. I feed off her, her spirit. Come on, y'all. Amen. Amen. We speed, feed off each other. And we go forth out of this place doing exploits. I don't know about this week coming. I need some exploits done. I need some angels or some folk to come down there in my yard and help me clean up. <laughs> I, I'll take either one. <laughs> but, but listen, the, the main thing, help. <laughs> help, help. I'm just putting that out there. That be my exercise. I'm trying to, uh, my, uh, if they want to say I'm trying to fall off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got your tithes and offerings, amen. Another blessed time, amen, to express our love for God, amen. amen. Uh, There's a time that we can uh, come and be obedient to his word amen. and reap the benefits. I'm reaping it, y'all. I'm reaping it, I'm reaping it. Now, now, I want to give a testimony uh, now that I'm thinking about that. Somebody called me, thank God, Say, Pastor, do you need anything? Now, you know the flag would have went up with something. Uh, they would have started a name, you know. But, but God, I sit back, and I told that brother, I said, you know what? Thank God. I don't need anything. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was, that was, it was two of them that called me, and I could say the same. There was a time. They brother, can you, can you, can you, <laughs> and he, you know, I would have had to go there. 
But I was I thought about the blessing of God, how He kept us through that storm. And we had now we not look, I'm just I ain't gonna try to dress it. We ain't need nothing. Okay. If we had needed something, it would have been because of what? Our greed. Amen. 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 God kept us. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We didn't Amen. necessarily plan to go to Orangeburg. And that was, the only thing was that we had to go for one reason, but it ended up being a whole different thing. He kept us. Amen. So I said, brother, uh, I'm sure there's somebody else that you know, you're going to find. And, and if he had given it, for, you know, I would have taken it and given it to somebody who I found. And that's how it's got to be. You've you got to let this stuff pass through your hand. You can't be sitting up holding it. That's how the blessing comes. Open the wonders of heaven. We don't even know what that really looks like. Come on, come, y'all. That I won't have room enough to receive? What does that look like? But he wants us to try him at it. So here we are. Online, we're here. Amen. Pastor, you coming? Get all them full so the windows can open. Amen. 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 We have, mini- a sh- oh. God have mercy. <laughs> we have Minister <laughs> Antoinette on the line, and she will. Oh, she uh, on there. She will give you all the information Amen. that you need uh, for our giving session, this uh, service of giving. Minister Antoinette, are you able to do that? Can you hear me okay, Pastor? We can hear you gotcha. okay. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Um, and so I just, I thank God that things continue to move forward. I thank God that he is holding us together and keeping all things in order. And I was reminded of Psalm 24 when Pastor Mike was talking about the old school new lessons and how it talks about, you know, lifting up your heads, O you gates lifting up those everlasting doors, those ancient doors. Oh, the king of and so we thank God for how that king of glory is coming yeah. in. Like he said, he said, old school, new lessons, and he said God's glory. And so immediately that verse came to my mind that as we maintain those ancient doors, as we lift up our heads towards the king of glory, yeah, yeah, yeah. he shall come in and he will keep us. Thank you, God. And so for those who are online who are, are going to be giving, um, there's a couple of different ways that you can give. You can do the text to give option, which is 864-432-5882. And you just put that right into your text messages and we'll make sure that this is loaded into the chat box on Facebook as well as on YouTube. And then I also, um, and I apologize, it might be a feedback on one particular portion. Hopefully it's not too much feedback. Um, the New Life Prophetic Ministries mail-in option is P.O. Box 16, Waterloo, South Carolina, 29384. And then you can also do online giving at www.nlpmsc.org. And if you click on the giving tab, you can give that way as well. And we thank God for everyone who continues to give. And we just pray that God continues to cover and keep and provide so that we will have that moment where we don't have room enough to receive. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That's our prayer also, of course. Amen. Give to that point. Amen. God is faithful. That I do know. <laughs> God is faithful to his word. His word will never, shall never, has never failed. Amen. So if you're satisfied, amen, with the fact that you've obeyed the Lord, let us now receive this offering. Father God, we come now before you, God, thanking you for the privilege, the honor to be able to obey your word, God. The word with all to know that that's most important in this Amen. world. Yes, it is. Thank you, Father, that you said that when we give, the windows of heaven would be open unto us, that we may not have room enough to even receive. Father, you said you, you would rebuke the devourers for our sake. God, thank you. Thank you, Father, that we don't fight this. Father, you take care of us. All fruit will go on the vine before time. Our fruit will not rot. And we'll be called a delightsome land. 
Thank you. We give you glory for that. And because, God, you said also, because we've given, we've given wholeheartedly, cheerfully, glad to be able to. God, you said men would look us up. They would press into our bosoms, be pressed down, shaken together, to be in good measure, great measures. You said it would be done to us. So we receive them thank even you, right Jesus. now. And thank you in advance. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Announcements or any comments or announcements, Pastor? Amen. Thank God. Thank Hallelujah. God. How he takes the old, he takes the new, he mixes it together, and he gives us what we need. Thank you, Pastor, Every for time. that word. Every time. And we look forward to the con con I do uh, too, Pastor. continuation I might it during the middle of, the week. I don't of this, uh, <laughs> this series, Amen. Old School. Thank you. New, new lesson. lesson. Amen. New lesson. Amen. We all, we all are there. There are old things and there are new things. We all are there. We need both. Amen. And we need God to show us how to work it. What to, how to work Works it. it Amen. Work, work it, it so it'll work for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for each one of you being here. For all of you online, God bless you. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know if I can keep this thing. Hallelujah. It's good. <laughs> Amen. God Amen. bless you. We have an announcement. Have an announcement. Can you? Yeah. Please, please. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone. As uh, most people know, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And a lot of people doesn't know that we do have a place here in Lawrence Amen. that help the cancer people in Lawrence County. So what we do is we give out, for each treatment, we give out so much money to take them back and forth. That'll take a wear ration off of them. We also help them with their prescription. We give up to $300 a month for the traveling back and forth. We give up to 150 on the prescription. We have Insure Boost Glycerna for the diabetic ones. We have Brief. We have wheelchairs. We have bedside commode, which we do not want back, but the wheelchair, the walker, and the shower chair, we'll take those back. We spray them down, clean up and everything. But I do want to encourage people to come out. Amen. Because the money is there. It's, non, it's a nonprofit, but the money is there. And that'll take off some of the stress. Going through cancer is that, enough. That's a, yeah, right. So I'm here to tell you that we are there Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 to 1. And where is it? It's at, it's at Clinton Highway on uh, Professional, Dri Professional Drive. Amen. It's right behind Duh. Rental Dentist. Amen. 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 Isn't it Thank good? You. Amen. That's good information. Amen. You, know, I, you don't want to have cancer, but my goodness. And I, I think blessed. about what Paul said. I think uh -huh. it was to the Corinthians. He said, comfort uh -huh. with the same comfort, the same comfort. where which you, you were comforted, comforted with. Thank you, Jesus. And that's how we as the body Hallelujah. supposed to be. Amen. We supposed to receive blessings, but Amen. we also supposed to give yeah. blessings. Why? Because we are blessed Amen. to be a blessing, Amen. to be blessed. Amen. 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 God has a system, has a That's way right. that man. works. Amen. And he ensures that nobody is lacking if the body would come together and do as the body is supposed to do. Amen. What? Remember each Remember. other. Amen. 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 And truly, there are some that don't know. They, I, I wasn't even aware of that. You know, because uh, if you don't have cancer, then sometimes that's, you know, in the back. But then uh, you may know somebody. Uh, but that's good to know. Amen. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. That, that's a, that's a resource that God yeah, has given. Sure he as the source mm -hmm. provides ways and means for us, incomes yeah, and yeah. channels. We have to tap into that. Everything. And sometimes, you know, we feel like if it don't come from this way, yeah. then it ain't God. Mm. It's God because God is the source Amen. of all good things, all good and God. perfect gifts Come for comes down from the Father of lights mm -hmm. in whom there is no, no. variation or shadow, shadow of, of turning. Amen. 
Let's receive from God That's the right. good and perfect gifts that mm -hmm. he has given us. Uh -huh. Online in here, say, I receive. I receive. Amen. Got to receive, receive the things God's trying to uh, give us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Spiritually, uh, emotionally, physically, all that kind of a way. So I thank God. And bless you online, whoever Amen. you are. We, uh, of course, first pray that the uh, adoption spirit be on you yes. for the house of God. In your household house, on salvation. your family, household salvation. That everything that concerns you is before God. And he's working it out. Amen. He's working it out even right now as we speak. So we bless you. We bless you Amen. in the sanctuary. Pray that your house and your family be well and whole and happy. Amen. Amen. I thank God for you. I thank God for online. Amen. But be God is so in charge. Blessed. Amen. He's in charge, right? Because we allow that. Amen. We, we want him to be. Amen. Amen. Take, we, we take bless. We bless. Remember our founder and his family. Amen. Bless Amen. Minister Marsha and her family. Thank God that God kept them now, safe. Now. That they are blessed and well and enjoying the goodness and the grace of God. I thought they Thank might be God. here today. Them, them, them founders, folks. <laughs> and we, you know, y'all know the storm was here. And everybody up and on. They, they out on the crew, on the ship. And we thinking, because the ship started out of Orlando. And it's like, oh, my, nobody's heard from them. And I'm just going to intercede. We heard from them jokers. They in Mexico partying. <laughs> uh, see, that's how folk do you. But I thank God that we finally heard Praise from them. God. And, and all I, cause is Because well. I said to myself, them cap, they got to know to get away from the storm. Some kind of way. But we found out, yeah, that's what, and, and our little star movie, uh, I hope she don't mind me calling her movie, Rain. Rain, uh, we sent a, they sent a picture of her. She decked down, to, just decked down. Look, 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 had a little arms back. I said, you better go put some on your arm. <laughs> she was at the captain's dinner. So they, they, they say they were having a splendid time. Have never, and I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. If we get a chance, we can all go on the cruise. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yeah, I did some cruises, but it wasn't that kind. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So we bless them. Amen. Yes, Every family God. represented. Again, yes. uh, the berries, we bless you. Lift you yes. up before the Lord. Amen. All the mothers, we lift you up. Yes. That you be strengthened on this week coming. And all of us, that we'll experience a great good hand of God. Amen. I love it. I mean, we'll wake, wake up every morning. God, what you got for me today? What Come on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. I bless this on that. Stand to your feet. If Amen. there's nothing else. <laughs> Amen. Uh, the, the conference that we were planning, of course, we'll come back before you the prophetic conference we'll have more information about that at times and when and all that mm -hmm. amen so that's coming up still but remember uh old school uh i i, I can grab my uncle's old holiness yeah mm -hmm. we used to laugh at him but when we got in trouble come on huh we want we want an uncle base uh -huh. <laughs> somebody touch heaven for me <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we bless his name. Bless Amen. God. Bless God. Amen. Bless. Father, we come now before thank you. Thank you, you Father. We thank you, God, as we, as your people, we're coming before you with great boldness, God, because you said to do it. We're coming to you with confidence that you are God, that we are the apples of your eye. And God, we thank you that as we go from this place, we may be dismissed bodily, we may not be around, but, but our spirits connect and remain. Thank you, God, that you've Thank chosen you. us yes, to Lord. be the light of this world, light of this world. and salt, salt in this, this earth. earth. Amen. Amen. God bless you.